Hey everybody, Victoria Cole here. I just wanted to talk to you about a subject um, that a lot of people are very interested in and it's uh, about fitness. And um, I was actually going to type up a blog but then I thought to myself, you know, sometimes it's good to kind of switch it up because a lot of times people are not able to make that time to, uh, you know, sit there and try to read through a blog. So sometimes it's easier when you're driving to kind of hear what, you know, a video is saying. So it's very uh, more efficient and a, a lot faster for me to be able to express what I want to express as far as fitness uh, goes. So um, what I wanted to start with is just talking about, you know, um, fit versus skinny and what a lot of people um, really want to attain is um, instead of being healthy and fit uh, they want to be skinny and really look at you know the images of what Hollywood is really displaying in the magazines and what we should be looking at, at or what we should be looking like um, but I personally do have a story I've actually um, ever since I think uh, three years ago I believe I have lost over 40 pounds I know it's hard to believe, but I, I really did. Um, and it was definitely an overtime and it was a, a slower process. But um, I'm so glad that I did make that choice um, because I've struggled um, since I was a, a teenager to maintain my weight and to really have a good self image and good thoughts about myself. Uh, you know, since I was 16, um, I went through almost being on the verge of um, major anorexia, which I'm so glad I didn't really go cross over that threshold. Um, you know, I was so skinny and I was tired. I didn't eat enough and I exercised a lot and I still thought I was fat. My sister would get upset at me. My dad thought, told me that he would whip me if I ever said that again. Um, and then the next year what happened was I completely went from one end to a completely other end and that was binge eating um, and so I gained almost 40 pounds within that one year because my body was just so exhausted from being starved that I went into a binge mode and really what I've learned over the years is that it's a mindset it's really just understanding and accepting who you are and studying what you need uh, versus looking at these magazines and trying to compare your own self um, to to other people to other people to all, uh, other women and their own lifestyle so I just really wanted to encourage you today not to look at um, you know other people or magazines you know I'm not saying don't look don't look at those places for inspiration definitely do that because um, you know they might have certain things that uh, will be beneficial to you um, as far as exercise as far as some of the tips that they do uh, some of the cooking uh, uh, things that they uh, do for their family that has helped them save time save money um, as well as be uh, on a healthy lifestyle on the path of a healthy lifestyle so I just really wanted to encourage you you know don't give up on yourself and don't try to be one of those people that go from diet to diet and try to take one of those quick pills you know I have been a victim to those things where I would have see I would see a commercial uh, for some kind of a fast slimming diet and I would totally fall for it I would buy it I would try it you know I would lose like five ten pounds uh, but honestly I really believe that a lot of it is just water weight so there's really not an easy um, uh, and, a, and, and a fast way to get out of you know being like 30 pounds overweight or 40 pounds overweight you slowly have added that up to yourself and to your own lifestyle you've you know added those calories over time it didn't happen overnight so same way with losing weight or getting on the la uh, uh, healthy lifestyle and on that path is it is it, just take it one day at a time you know um, some people might have to make a more of a drastic change than others but if you do a little bit each day and make sure that it's intentional uh, you know making sure that you have good foods in, in the house and if you're tempted to eat certain foods then you shouldn't have them or you shouldn't go to places where you're tempted to eat certain foods um, so just really uh, creating healthy boundaries for yourself and also attainable goals you know some people are like well I'll lose 50 pounds by next month you know, it's it's not to say that it's impossible. I'm sure it's possible, but it's not healthy at all. And you're more likely to gain that weight back if you're not going to do it over time. And it just really takes discipline. And um, 
just really wanted to encourage you that it's not a fast track um, but it's something that has to take time and um, your your energy and uh, you have to be uh, intentional in that um, and so what it first starts with is your mindset you really have to understand and say you know what I may not be like her I may not look like a model I may struggle with certain things but I'm gonna accept uh, myself for who I am and I'm going to work with what God has given me and because that's the best thing you can do you you're if you're gonna continue to compare yourself you're just going to waste your time but if you get into a place where you accept yourself for who you are really believe in yourself and start taking small steps towards uh, having a, a good healthy lifestyle that means you know creating uh, a good healthy habit of eating a good healthy habit of exercising you know and even if you do splurge at times just making sure that you do work those calories off and that you're not overeating on those things you know there are times when me and my husband maybe a week like we'll have you know hot tea because it's a cultural thing um, and we'll have you know cookies or dark chocolate and sometimes we'll splurge on that stuff but we keep each other accountable we make sure and say you know next week we're really gonna cut that off we really are not supposed to have that every night because what your body does it get actually gets used to certain things and then it's almost like it goes into this craving mode so if you're addicted to fast food if you're addicted to certain kind of foods I really just encourage you um, to you know get in a place where maybe you need an accountability partner find somebody that can be you know can keep you accountable but really cut back on those things and just say you know what I'm really I don't want to live in the moment and I don't want to do these things because it just feels good or it tastes good but I want to make sure that I'm looking forward to my future and um, I'm planning for my future and part of it is uh, disciplining yourself today and making those steps daily so that you can have a healthy lifestyle when you are 40, 50, 60, 70 because you do want to be that you know hot soccer mom that is able to run around with her kids you do want to be that um, uh, grandma that's running around with her grandchildren you know and is able to play sports and not just be a couch potato um, and not only that it's not only uh, for yourself but it's for your family for your future because kids pick up easily whatever you do um, so it's not what you're gonna say to them you know it's like don't do what I'm doing because they're going to do exactly what you do so just creating that healthy lifestyle is also going to create a huge change for your family um, and it's going to really give you a great future um, a healthy and an active um, lifestyle so just wanted to encourage you and let you know that you know you're not alone I have faced certain things um, and I have struggled with a lot of these issues and I have really made a decision to have a healthy lifestyle and it's something that I have to choose daily and make that decision and I'm so glad I, uh, I that I do that daily because I feel stronger I felt healthier I'm able to do certain things and you know it doesn't stop here um, I've started certain things that I'm doing now that has really encouraged me and inspired me you know I've started look like lifting more weights and that has helped me tremendously just getting a little bit more toned so just try new things don't be afraid you don't have to stick to same old stuff and and, and make it boring you know same with foods you don't have to feel like you're eating healthy and just eating the same old vegetables and fruits but just kind of switch it up you know Pinterest such a huge place for you to like look through different kind of recipes and you can just type up healthy recipes um, you know for salads or cakes or you know you can even make fruit cakes I'm not saying have that every day but you know there's just so many things out there that can really help you you can pull up Google and research you know good exercises or good tips on um, grocery shopping you know healthy uh, grocery shopping there's just so many things that are available for us there is just no excuse for us to say you know what I don't have time I don't have the money I don't have the energy because you do if it is important for you to make sure that you are healthy um, not for only for yourself but for your children and for your future you're going to make that happen so I just really encourage you to make that happen today don't be stuck where you are because you are unique because you are beautiful and God has created you in his image and in his likeness and he has a purpose and a plan for your life 
but he is not gonna have to he's he cannot just go grab you and pull you by your hand you're going to have to be a willing vessel um, willing to be used by Harry so just be encouraged today I love you guys thank you for watching this video please comment on some of the things um, and let me know what what some of the things that you struggle with or some of the things that you have overcome I get encouraged and inspired by just listening to some of the th stories that you guys share with me and if you guys have any questions or some of the things that you guys want me to dis discuss a little bit farther um, let me know um, comment down below and I will be more than happy to answer those questions or maybe later on to post more on my blog. Have a blessed day. Love y'all.